Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this weekend I will be vlogging my BBL journey and right now I'm at the hotel that I booked and it's in, where is this? I think it's in Dania Beach, but it's in Broward County. I went to my pre-op appointment. I got here this morning. I went to my pre-op appointment around 10 and then I went to Publix to just get some stuff. And now I'm at the hotel and I'm nervous because of surgery tomorrow, but you know, I'm gonna be okay. Stay prayed up, got everything prepared. My friend's with me. She's in the bathroom right now. Um, yeah, doing a number two. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me. I'm going to just show y'all some of the stuff that I got and before I go to my friend's room because I met this lady off the surgery group. She's from New Orleans, and she got a BBL, too, and I recommended her to come to this hotel and the same massage lady and everything. So I'm glad that I have her. She's like a little surgery sister, so it's going to kind of motivate me. But, yeah. <laughs> This is some of the food I got. I got an Ensure. These lymph these are all this stuff that I got. I've been watching YouTube videos and that's what they told me to got. I mean told me to get. I got these little lymphatic drops. I got some plantain chips. I got um some laundry detergent for when I wash my stuff. I got, there's this one girl on TikTok, I'm about to put her name below because she has the best videos and she is like the person that I got all of my little ideas from, but um, I'm going to put her name in, I can't really think of it right now, but um, I got my compression salt, I got this, the little dry brush for the self massages, this is it, and I got the wooden roller. Oh shit. It's some stuff in my um suitcase too. I need to get out, but I got water. It's supposed to stay hydrated. I got these little pet training pads for um to be on the bed when after surgery every single time. I just think about tomorrow and get nervous, but it's whatever but um i got my robe i got two nightgowns they're right here and now i'm about to open my suitcase and show y'all what i got but um i didn't really do a good introductory of why i'm getting this bbl but i'm gonna just tell y'all straight up because i wanted to and i got sculpture at the beginning of this year if you don't know what sculpture is it's like um these collagen injections and I got them and I feel like they didn't work and I wasted $3,900 and the reason I got them is because um they said I didn't I wasn't big enough to get a BBL but you know what I did I gained weight I gained about 10 10 12 pounds so now I'm eligible for one and that's why I've been looking fat lately if you didn't notice <laughs> but um yeah so I got gained weight because my sculpture didn't work and now I said fuck it I'm just getting a fucking real BBL the shit the sculpture was $3,900 and this was $6,300 but I'm like you know what I might as well just pay for the real thing instead of this bullshit that I just got and it worked like it made my butt bigger but it didn't, it didn't, it's, it's just not given. It's just like, nobody could tell anything really happened. Like, if you knew me and you know, like, I really ain't had no ass like that, then you probably, then you probably could tell a difference. Oh, and this is Kiara. She's a fucking bitch. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm about to show y'all the rest of the stuff I got in my suitcase before I go see my friend. Damn. I done broke my own suitcase a little bit. But I got my little, unfortunately, diapers. I got like three things of pineapple juice. If you watch BBL videos, you know why I got all this stuff. But if you don't, pineapple juice, they say, helps you heal, help inflammation, blah, blah, blah. Whoop, whoop. And then, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then I got these little shoes. I've been had those. Um... 
and the rest of the things i just brought my like hygiene items facial wash some wipes and the stuff for my hair and extra strength tylenol but other than that that's all i got so now i'm about to go see my friend right now i wonder if i could record her i'm gonna ask her but i seen her mom downstairs and i just randomly went up to her i was like are you with someone because something told me something told me like this is her mom and it happened to be her mom and now i'm about to go see them they told me what room so i'm about to go right now but see y'all later it's not day one yet it's the day before but yeah bye okay y'all so i'm in my friend's room that i met on the surgery group kenyatta she's from new orleans <laughs> Oh, she she got her surgery today, y'all, and she's doing she's doing good. She's doing real good, and um, she have her drinks, her little compression socks, her new booty or whatever. <laughs> yes, and she gave me um this Pedialyte type of thing. You said yeah. you got it from New Orleans. Yeah, still in New Orleans. But um, she said it helps. It's for dehydration purposes. So this is. Just get this. I don't know. Just get it. <laughs> but yeah, so she gives me motivation for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, she looked good. Thank I can't you. wait to, you know, keep in contact or whatever. But um, yeah, so now I don't know. I guess I'm going to get something to eat here. About to take a nap. I'm really tired too, but I still got to stay up for, yeah. for them to. Call. Yeah, for my phone call and plus the little shot. How was the shot when you put it in? What shot? They didn't give you a shot I to put in? I didn't get a shot, no. They told me and to I get it. I thought about this shot all night. Like I said, I could have sworn I was supposed to take a shot by yeah, myself. Yeah, uh-huh. I wonder why. For the blood clots, they said. Well, I guess they really totally different. Because yeah, really like, probably for McAdoo. Yeah, but, probably because um, he's more aggressive. Mm -hmm. That too. Yeah. Yeah, you All right, bye, bye y'all. <laughs>
didn't eat or whatever. I mean, this is me after a full day of eating. And I don't know if you could show underwear on YouTube. I never got this deep into YouTube with butts and stuff. But this is me from the back. Of course, I got on sweatpants, so it looks worse than what it is. <laughs> but I'm going to be good. This my stomach or whatever. So I weigh like 150. I used to weigh like my normal weights are like 136. 130, 138. Yeah, sure. oh, but a bitch is my 40. I mean, what bitch is my 50 now? So, <laughs> okay, I need to stop because my family be watching these videos. And if you got something to say about me <laughs> in this video, I mean, hey, you know, I gotta live my life for me. But, yeah, this is me. I'm just, I'm just nervous. That's why I'm saying all this freaking crazy ass shit. I need to just go over there and eat my baked DD. Take my shower with my dial soap. It's my little dial soap. Take my shower with my dial soap. And get ready for tomorrow. I already know that I'm gonna be wearing I don't even know what I'm wearing there. I guess I'll wear my little nightgown. I don't know. So I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. And I got one nail off because they need one or two nails off for the to check your pulse. And since I'm a respiratory therapist, I know that you know that one would be good. So you know. But um yeah, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Pray for me. Keep me in y'all prayers. Excuse my hair if y'all see my little closure. Freaking lifting. I got a closure and not a frontal because I wanted a sew in for all this. I don't have time to be doing the baby hairs and blah blah blah. blah, blah. But now I'm going to get my car. I'm kind of starting to really get nervous, but I prayed this morning like I always do every morning. And it's a freaking bird in this parking garage going fast as hell. But um, I'm mentally preparing for my surgery and I know I could be more nervous than, you know, this because I heard some people on the surgery group they're taking like anti-anxiety medication and all that and I'm not that bad. So I'm just today, this morning, just thinking about all the positive. I got some texts from my family, like my dad and stuff. I don't know if I said this before, but my dad is really, really supportive. <laughs> My sister had one before, so he's he's supportive of her. Um, he was supportive of me, and he was supportive of her, but I feel like he's more supportive of me just because my sister already did the dirty work for me. But, yeah, so I brushed my teeth. I took all my piercings out. Um, let me get to the front before I finish recording. But, yeah, I took all my um piercings out i'm so nervous y'all because i be watching everybody else video videos and it's so crazy how they go from <laughs> talking like this and then they're just like what the? i just had surgery oh my god but um yeah so i'm on my way to i'm about i'm about to text my friend right now to come down she's the one taking me Um, it's like 20 minutes away but um yeah so my friend's taking me I got on this little gown or whatever oh shit let me tell her bring the rope cause I forgot but yeah so I'm about to go and today this morning I woke up at 3 but I was like fuck it I'm going to be asleep a lot of the day anyways today so let me just you know wake up early I'm already waking up early blah 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 so I took out my piercings this morning when I woke up I took a shower with the dial soap uh, I prayed in the shower uh, what else did I do I brushed my teeth didn't swallow the water look how fat my chin is but um i took off both of my nails yesterday um so now i'm just on the way to the surgery place 
Waiting for my friend to come down. Um, just ready for it all to be over with. Like, I think my main thing is the whole surgery as a whole. But once I'm done and out, like the pain, my medicine and stuff, once it's kicked in and everything, I think that's when I'll be fine. Everybody be saying the first three days are the worst, but you know, I'm speaking positivity and I'm not trying to act like I'm better than everybody <laughs> or nothing like that. But my little friend that I met here, she was doing good. And it's day one, she said her pain level was a two out of 10. And so is mine about to be. Cause you know, I said my little affirmations or whatever and I'm gonna be straight. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be straight, but I'm super excited. I looked at my stomach this morning and I was just like, you better work, bitch, because <laughs> I don't know when I be not eating. I mean, like when I in the mornings, my stomach be looking really flat. I'm gonna show y'all a picture. I could. I'm going to show y'all a picture. I showed y'all a picture yesterday, but that was after a full day of eating. But this is how my stomach be looking in the mornings. <sighs> Where is it? I can't believe this is happening. But, bitch, it's about to be done and over with, so it's whatever. Everybody's supporting me. Once it's done, it's done. It's done. Um, I thought, I know I sent a picture to my sister. My friend just sent me a voicemail. I'm about to play it. This is how my stomach be looking in the mornings. It be looking flat. And a lot of people, they be like, you don't have a stomach. You don't have a stomach. But, bitch, I do got a stomach. <laughs> to me. Let's listen to my voicemail my friend did. Here it go. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I don't know what's up with the volume. All right, I'm gonna just read y'all the voicemail. Oh no, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, you got this in the pull through for sure, 100. Um, yeah, call me when you get out. Big Ron. <laughs> That's my friend, Brenia, aka Gata. She. <laughs> Can't believe she left me a voicemail. I didn't even hear her phone call, but yeah, so she and she gave me a voicemail. Whatever. Woo -de -woo. I told my friends I don't really want really long texts and stuff because y'all gonna make me more nervous, emotional. That's why I'm trying not to refrain from. That's why I'm trying to refrain from calling people. And my one friend, um, she had one too. She told me she ain't tell nobody when she got one. She just did it because you know how people be feeling about BBLs. But um, yeah, but it's too late for that. I already done told everybody. <laughs> But you know, negativity won't stop me. A lot of people just be negative because I feel like one, they just, I mean, it's really society. Like, they just, like, if you don't like BBLs, it's one, you say, go to the gym, blah, 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 whoop de whoop. I mean, I go to the gym, I work out, I freaking spend money on freaking memberships, I go boxing, I do all this shit. I've been doing yoga, I did hot yoga. So, first off, that's that. Um, I'm vegan, so I'm definitely not lazy. All these people saying go to the gym. I bet you can't keep your diet how I keep my diet. I've been freaking vegan slash vegetarian. Started off as vegetarians for going on six years. So, And what else they be saying? A lot of people, I feel like they just really be wanting one. But they really just feel like they don't want to handle the pain and then they just really can't afford it. So they want to talk shit about people that could afford it. It's really not a big deal. I don't really know why people have attitudes about something. I never was negative about a freaking BBL and I feel like nobody should be. Because if you have something you freaking want to do, just fucking do it. Damn. But, um... Yeah, and I got money, so it's not like this is taking a lot, a lot for me. 
but yeah now when i work out i'll be like you know toning everything this girl need to hurry up because it's 20 minutes away and i told her i'm downstairs she's trying to make me late to my appointment they aren't going to be able to do my surgery i'm just kidding y'all probably like this bitch is talking we want to see the fucking recovery process um but yeah so i'm gonna let y'all know when I get to the surgery room. Oh, and if I didn't tell you guys who I was going with, I'm going with Dr. McAdoo. Um, my friend went to him. Um, he's a really good doctor. Uh, my sister knew about him. She didn't go to him, but she knew about him. So I'll drop his, I think his Instagram is, I'll, I'll put it down. This is going to be a long ass video to edit, but I'll put it down. So... Yeah, bitch. I'm about to have my BBL, bitch. Pray for me. Even though after this, it's gonna be, y'all ain't gonna have nothing to pray for me because I'm gonna be done healed and fucking at Thanksgiving or something. It's like a week from Thanksgiving. But yeah, so. I'm chilling. I'm bobbing. Bye. Walking in. Here's Kiara. <laughs> oh my god. I'm walking in, bitch. Walk in. I'm motherfucking walking in. <laughs> okay. Getting a little shaky right now, but I'm gonna be straight. I'm prayed up. I'm prayed up. It's gonna be I'm done and over with today. Don't gotta worry about it no more. I should know it's gonna be thick. Exactly. Okay, now, now, where the fuck do I go? Oh, shoot. Let me see. This is it. <laughs> Look at this bitch. <laughs> this is it. Um. <sighs> boy, boy, mother. <laughs> Let me stop all this cursing. But um, yeah, I'm here. So can't believe it. It's okay. I'm gonna be okay. Everything gonna be okay. I miss my cat. <laughs> um, yeah. But okay. Talk to you guys later. See you guys after surgery. I'm out of the surgery, guys. Um, my lip is like swollen. I look disgusting right now, but I'm out. Um, yeah, I'm in pain, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I got me a smoothie from Smoothie King, my favorite smoothie Caribbean way. They took away five dollar Fridays, which is stupid as hell. But yes, yeah, so I got a smoothie. Headed back to the hotel. We're well, gonna get the prescription first, then headed back to the hotel. <clears throat> Dr. McAdoo, he was nice. He was showing me the people he did surgeries before. Everything went really well. I was comfortable. Um, it was crazy getting freaking intubated and stuff because I saw him like giving me the sedatives and stuff. And I'm just so used to having that happen to me because, I mean, not having that happen to me, seeing that happen to other people. My throat is not as sore as I thought, but. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. When I woke up, I was just shaking. A little cold. Now I'm just ready to get this medicine so I can feel even better. And be in bed, watch some TV. And then later on, I want some Chipotle or some type of Mexican food. Or Cuban food. I should take advantage of some brown food, some good South Florida food while I'm here cuz I can't have Chipotle anytime I want to but I just want something high in carbs so yeah we're on the way back to the hotel Kier's driving smoothie good to tell and this is honestly not that bad as I thought but right now I'm just looking at the positive I'm a bad bitch 
always been a bad bitch, but now I'm an even better bitch. I talk to my dad and majority of my friends. Shout out to all my friends. Y'all are so supportive and I love y'all. But yeah. Not as bad as I thought. And he also said since I'm vegan, I'll heal faster. So that's a plus. But yeah. I'll with y'all later. Bye. So my lip is still swollen. Have no idea why. <laughs> but... Right now, I took my oxycodone, so I'm waiting for that to kick in. I can't freaking wait. Um, I set up more of these on my bed. The girl that I was telling y'all about on TikTok, she was like, the more she does, it helps her recovery. So I've been doing that. And, well, Kiera did the first two, but I did that one. And now I'm walking around. About to take, do some, drink some more pineapple juice. We ordered some veggie burgers. And by the time I wake up, hopefully it's here. I just had like some hummus and pretzels. But um, yeah. And I emptied out my drain. This is it. I'm ready to get this pain over with. My nap better get me in a better mood. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm about to take a nap right now. My lip is so freaking busted. I don't know what the hell happened. But it is, so. <sighs> yeah, I'm about to go to sleep. Pray the Lord it's a good nap. Bye. This is my veggie burger I got. <laughs> Tierra doesn't like hers. I hope I like mine. But I'm trying to eat plant-based because he literally told me that since I'm vegan, I'm going to heal faster. So, well, I'm fucking up. So I'm trying to make sure I be like a plant, more of a plant-based vegan right now and not a junk food vegan. I like my burger. I'm about to barbecue sauce or something underneath it. It's pretty good. And vegan Mm -mm -mm -mm. Morning, everybody. I still look a mess. Y'all just gotta excuse me. But, um, my lip is so swollen. Oh my god. But I just woke up like around six. And I woke up three times last night. And I walked. I slept really good. I took the oxycodone at 9 30. And I took it with some Tylenol. And um, I had some CBD, and that made me feel good. I went to sleep really good last night, although I woke up, like, I slept good. I just walked those times, and around 5, I took two oxycodones because I'm getting my first massage today. So, this lip shit looks crazy. So, um, I took, yeah, I took two because I'm getting my massage today. And um, I just changed my diaper now, use the bathroom. Now I'm about to change into these compression socks. My pain level's not bad at all right now. I feel like it's a three. So that's really good. So I'm about to change my compression socks. And then I'm going to um, take some of those Arnica tablet pills. Because they help with muscle tightness and muscle pain. And I'm getting my massage like at maybe nine or something and then i'm gonna go to my pre-op appointment so that's what's going on now and i drank some pineapple juice so i'm feeling really good like i feel like i'm doing everything that i'm supposed to be doing i just want to get a charger for my camera 
But yeah, so if my camera's about to die, so I will record the rest later. Bye. I'm getting about to get my massage now. She's setting up. <laughs> I'm super nervous. Ooh, I look a mess. But uh, my camera's still about to die. I need to get a charger. But I just wanted to show y'all that I'm getting my massage. What's your name? Tell them your name. My name is Carmen. Carmen. Okay. Getting her massage. Okay, I'll put her. I'll put her name below. <laughs> All right, bye. That's everybody. But uh, I just woke up for a nap. We went to the pre-op post-op appointment and they said I'm doing good. She was, look, she was like, it looked like I'm in no pain at all. And not really, but I just be taking the medicine when I'm supposed to. And then I took some more of these, the little Arnica stuff. Um, The massage was good. It didn't hurt like that, that, but it did like feel a little uncomfortable. Um, she got a lot out. It was a lot in the drain. So I emptied it twice since she's been here. And, um, yeah, ate some Chipotle. And I don't know why my camera acting like it didn't charge when I just charged it. And I'm washing my sheets right now. So they don't be like, what the fuck? But, yeah, I'm gonna charge my phone. I don't know. I mean, camera. I don't know what the heck is going on with it. But that's pretty much all that's going on. Now I'm just chilling in the room. Yeah, now I'm just chilling. So. Yeah, I don't feel too bad. My lip is still swollen. I don't know what's up with that. But I got to take some more pineapple juice today. And. I gotta put this shot in for the blood clots tomorrow. We leave around 11. After she gives me the next massage. And yeah. Oh, I bought a Faha from her and board. She sells Fajas for $90. I'm so out of breath right now. But she's selling for $90 and she sells the boards for like $25. So I bought that for her. And her massages are. $90, which is cheaper than what's in Orlando, and she come to you and everything. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just chilling in the hotel room. Still look a mess. So, I put a bonnet on because my hair was looking freaking crazy since I started this vlog. But, um, shit, let me flush the toilet. Still at the hotel. It's still day two. Um, basically, I just been chilling. I took a walk around the pool. I don't know if I said that already, but I took a walk around the pool and um, went to pre-op today. I mean post-op. I keep saying post-op, but it's pre-op. I mean, I keep saying pre-op when it's post-op. But that's basically what I did today. Got a massage, blah, blah, blah. So I'm really bored now. I'm ready to get back to Orlando. Although that's not my home. It's my sec it's my first home um, before Georgia. So I kind of want to get back to that. Um, kind of want to get back to my friends and family. See my newborn nephews. Um, yeah, I definitely want to get back to some normality because um, it's really gloomy here. So it's like a little like, I don't want to say depressing, but it's just like a little, it's too gloomy. It's too gloomy. And normally when I come to Fort Lauderdale in Miami, it'd be like, like, sunny and cheerful and stuff and then my friend Nikki she's not even here she's normally who I see when I'm here but um she's in DC right now so I'm ready to go back to Orlando and be at my best friend's house watching TV and stuff and I'm super excited for Thanksgiving because we got an Airbnb this year so I'm ready to go like just walking around slow nothing to really do um, I'm not depressed or anything. I know a lot of people be getting depressed and sad with the BBL and recoveries from surgery. 
But everybody's supportive of me, and there's no reason for me to be sad. I'm just bored as hell. And I want to, um, I want to get back to Orlando so I could at least, like, be, just not be in a hotel. So, yeah, leaving tomorrow after my massage. Right now, I'm still stiff. I'm not, I'm, I'm not at all, like, in a lot of pain. I haven't really been in pain like that. It's just stiff and being uncomfortable, which I'm happy. And I prayed before I had my BBL and I said, like, um, minimal pain, minimal pain. I don't want any pain. Well, I'm, I don't have, I won't have any pain after the surgery. And guess what? That's what happened. That's why you got to stay prayed up. And also, I'm vegan, so believe that also has to do with it and my size. I feel like if you're smaller, then your BBO won't hurt as much. But yeah, so I took my last oxycodone at like one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could take it now, but I'm gonna wait another hour and then take it and then put my little, I'm half here, put the little blood clot shot in me well blood thinner <laughs> I need to sound like I'm a healthcare worker but blood thinner in my leg and then yeah that's pretty much it gonna just watch TikToks and probably go to sleep this drain is bugging me and I feel like it smells but um yeah that's what's going on um my lip is still swollen. I can't wait to show you guys how I look after. And I did see my stomach today and it looks super cute and flat, but I'm just concerned about this uncomfortableness and all this shit being over. So I'm not really concerned about the body right now because it's swollen anyways, but it's whatever. Uh, I'm just happy it's over. Right? That was my biggest fear is going through like waking up and going to sleep so um like going to sleep put being put under anesthesia was my biggest fear because you know i work in healthcare, so i see that all the time and the fact that i had to be intubated and put on a ventilator while they did the surgery like kind of freaked me out i'm like oh my gosh but i went to sleep he told me the anesthesiologist i talked to him he was like you're gonna go to sleep he was gonna put you in this you're gonna go to sleep and it'll be up in five minutes and you're gonna have a lot of pressure on your butt and you're gonna be cold and that's exactly what happened. So, um, kinda weird. I can't believe they were flipping and turning me and taking fat out and doing all that while I was asleep. But I'm glad I was not up for it. Um, I know a lot of, well, I know there's several places that do have you having an awake BBL. But anyways, yep, I'm just chilling, ready to go home tomorrow my friend's gonna pick me up from the car rental place and I guess I'm just chill and then I'm trying to do like some cool stuff every day this week so I won't get like bored and sad and whatnot but yeah that's what I'm about to do uh, I'll keep you guys updated I'm about to go lay down right now drink some water drink some fluids they say stay hydrated like that. And yeah, bye guys. About to take my last walk of the night. Well, not really. I'll be waking. Well, I only had one day with the surgery, but I'm probably gonna wake up in the middle of the night and walk. So I'm gonna walk from this window to the door maybe two times. Two times, then my nurse, uh, well, my CNA, um, Kiara, <laughs> she's gonna give me yeah, right, my yeah. shot. <laughs> gonna give me my shot, and then I'm gonna take my oxycodone. <laughs> I'm so ready to get back to Orlando. She okay. Let me tell y'all a story about Kier. She's such a freaking bitch. So basically, she was like, "Do you want to get these patties?" 
And then I'm like, and then I'm like, um, no, I don't want to. <laughs> oh my god! But I was like, um, yeah. I mean, I was like, I'm not really hungry. And she was like, oh yeah, I'm not really hungry either. So now she wants to get the freaking patties in this like, bitch. Look at, I'm not even going to, little does she know, I'm not letting her go out with this weather like this. It's dark as hell. She don't know this city like that. So, um, yeah, now she's trying to blame it on me, but she said she didn't want them. It's the type of person she is. But, um, I just deal with her. But, yeah, so I'm walking. Walking, walking. I'm not in crazy pain, but I'm not in crazy pain, but just stiff. A lot of people do a lot worse than me, so it's whatever. This is me in the mirror. Hey, hey, hey. Now I'm about to get my shot for my nose. It hurts in the other time. Well, it don't hurt like that, but it's just a weird feeling. Oh, actually, gotta pee. Gonna use the bathroom first. Then I'm gonna get my shot. I've been peeing so much, but they say drink lots and lots of fluids, so that's what the hell I'm doing. Cause I'm trying to do everything the right damn way. I don't be feeling crazy. But I'm out of peace, so hold on a second. So y'all, my chest kind of hurts, so I'm gonna do some things that I feel like will help my chest. Um, you know, I'm a respiratory therapist, so I feel like I know what I'm doing, so. Before I take my oxycodone, I'm gonna take some breathing exercises. And this helps me, maybe it can help you too. Never seen anybody do this in their BBO videos, but it's worth the shot. Okay. A one, two, three. This would have been good with some deep meditation music too, but it's whatever. So it could be my arm. So I'm gonna stretch to this side. This is why I need to be a yoga instructor. I'm actually looking into that. Cause I mean, it just fits me. I'm vegan. Um, I'm healthy. Why not be a yoga instructor? I think it's gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna. I look like super super big right now. I am not this big. It's just because I have on the sides freaking extra large, um, extra large gown and all this little padding and stuff that I have on. It's making me look extra big. Stretch my neck out. Go the other way. Deep breathing is very important after surgery. I don't even know why they didn't give me a freaking incentive spirometer. If you don't know what that is, that's what they give you when you're in a hospital after surgery so you could take deep breaths. Oh my God, you want to go at the last minute. She literally wants to go to this place at the last freaking minute. After she said she didn't want to go multiple times. And now I'm settled. Ready to relax. Get my shot. Nightly routine type shit. And she wants to go while they're damn near about to close. She's about to go by herself. 
You're gonna be mad at me, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Alright, opening my oxy coat on. Ugh. Opening this shit. <sighs> I feel like my breathing exercise work. I really feel like if I crack my back, it'll help me as well. Ugh, I'm gonna tell her when I get my massage. Really dig into that back, cause at this point I don't even think it's chest pain. I just think it's my back. And I haven't really been standing up straight like I should. I need to stand up straight. I probably drank like four water bottles today. I can't wait till I'm off pain medicines. I always like when I be watching people BBL videos and their little TikToks and stuff, they be like, I'm not even taking pain meds anymore. And that's what I want to be like. I ain't even taking pain meds anymore. I'm one day seven. I'm not even taking pain meds anymore. I'm doing good. I'm just stiff. Which I am just stiff. But I feel like the pain, the pain would come if I didn't take these. But... I just need my shot. I'm really bruised right here. This is the only place that I really bruise. Look, guys. Only place that I really bruise. Like, when the lady saw me today, she was like, on um, the massage lady, she was like, that's the only place you bruised. And I was like, oh my god, really? And she was like, yeah, that's the only place you bruised. But, um, yeah. So that's good. I don't know if that's because the drain or I'm just not a bruiser or what the hell. But my skin looks really good right now. I look really good right now. Made sure I got my lashes done before I got this stuff. Eyebrows done. So when I get to Orlando, all I really have to do is flat iron my hair. And I'm praying by Thanksgiving I could put on a real cute outfit. And be a baddest bitch at Thanksgiving, but my family does, bitch. I just had a BBL. <laughs> but um, yeah, I can't believe I had a BBL. Do y'all know that like I just decided that I wanted to have one two months ago? I been knew I wanted one, but I was gonna wait until after I had kids because at first I wasn't big enough. So I had that sculpture stuff, and the sculpture didn't work like how I wanted to. Maybe I wasn't doing the proper maintenance, but I was just like, you know what, fuck it. Let me just get a BBL because. I don't know when I'm gonna have kids and let me just do it so in August I was like you know what fuck it pay the deposit and I was like can I come in November and I was like yeah you can come in November so here I am um yeah here I am so right now I'm about to get my shot key I'm also gonna go to this place I do not want to go to this place then I have to get in the car and mm -mm. Nope. Bye bye, guys. Kia's about to give me my shot, guys. Let me see. put me on. Her. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to give me my shot. I'm worn out, baby. I'm tired. I hate this shot. Mama tired. It's whatever. But Mama she did it good the other day. I just don't want to give an embolism. <laughs> 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 Why I said aneurysm? <laughs> oh my god, bitch. It's actually going too far. They brought this and you both down. You both of <laughs> them. Why the fuck Carter got on the tight ass pants? Nasty. Oh, Carter got on the tight ass pants. I thought I could do it myself, but. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Why you be over soon, though. She my personal nurse. Where y'all at? Huh? Oh wait. Miami. You got jail now. Give me her gun real shot. This girl's an idiot. Stop, Kier. Please don't. Flex it. 
Please stop. Flex your muscle, boo. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Ah. Did you see it? Mm. Fuck. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Damn. Did it burn? Yeah, it burns. It's over with? Yeah. You can't feel it? I did feel it. Shit fucking hurts. Damn, Dr. McAdoo. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else don't be taking this. <laughs> All right, now I feel... Shut up. <laughs> now I feel safe enough to go to sleep. Good morning, everybody. It is now day three. Um, I woke up at like one and five last night to use the bathroom, walk around, and at five my abs was hurting, so I took two oxycodone. Um, right now I got the arnica pills out of my under my tongue because I'm getting my massage and I don't want my muscles to be really sore I'm gonna take some of my infection pills these red pills and then some more Tylenol and then um my pineapple juice I woke up this morning drinking it so yeah I'm about to eat the rest of my fruit I got some pineapples and they said whole foods like actual whole foods like non-processed foods are better for you to eat then just processed food it'll make you feel better so i'm just eating mainly plant-based foods and not processed foods because it's easy for me to do anyway since i'm vegan but there is vegan junk food so i won't eat all that processed junk food so i'm just eating the whole foods right now um i'm about to take these pills the pineapple juice <sighs> feel kind of good right now don't feel too crazy just my abs hurt the massage lady's coming at nine so i'm probably gonna clean up and get everything together and yeah i'm gonna clean up everything so that'll give me some more moving time like I said, probably said this before, the girl TikTok, who I told y'all about, who I feel like if, if, if I ain't find her, I wouldn't know what to do. But um, her TikTok was like, if you keep moving, then that's what's going to make you heal faster. So I'm just keeping moving right now. I'm going to just clean up everything and get everything together so that we can leave at 11. And I could get back home. Well, to Orlando. So, yeah, guys. I'm out of clean up right now. Bye. breakfast my <clears throat> hummus and crackers and then some whole pineapples this has 10 grams of protein in it so it's really good for me to eat uh, I guess it's considered a fatty food and you know pineapples help you heal my room because it's really dirty but I'm about to get my last massage um before I leave to Orlando okay guys that's a wrap I got my last massage and that shit hurt. I feel like that will hurt more than yesterday. But, um, yeah, I got my last massage. This room looks a freaking mess. But I got all my stuff packed. My BBL pillow. 
um all this little extra stuff packed um just use the bathroom uh here went to go get some food um she gave me a little pearl thing to put in my belly button um the girl that i watch on tiktok she is a cotton ball which i was gonna use but since she gave me this pearl i could use this just so my stomach won't get like my belly button won't get real flat but other than that we're just about to head out i'm probably gonna bring all this stuff downstairs check out and head back to orlando pray before i um well i prayed for us to have a safe drive already and uh it's pretty much nothing else for us to do besides get the hell home but yeah it's about a three hour drive it's raining um but we got we're we gonna get there safe and yeah i'm about to ride with pillows I'm about to steal some of the hotel's pillows but i i asked them for two so yeah look it's raining this has been real gloomy this weekend and i ain't fucking with it but it's whatever Everything's going good. Oh shoot, I forgot I have this pineapple juice I gotta take. So, yeah, that's it. It's about to head down now, whether Kiara's down there or not. I can have everything ready, but I'm still in the pillow, so I don't know if I could go down there right now. But yeah, see you guys in Orlando. Then I'm probably gonna stop recording and I'll do an update video later on, but these are gonna just be strictly the first three days. And yeah, bye. Oh, and Dr. McAdoo, he doesn't recommend massages in, for the first two weeks. And I saw some people in his group said that they didn't get massages at all. But I'm getting massages because all the videos and everything I watch, everybody got massages. So I don't know what's up with that. But I got my massages and they're making me feel better. And he didn't recommend it, but... I'm going against medical advice. <laughs> so, yeah. See you guys in Orlando. Alright, y'all. So, today's day four, and I'm back in Orlando. I'm about to sit in my little BBO. Um, zero gravity chair and it has a tray and everything and I'm watching Daddy's ATL my sister said watch this while I recover cause all these hoes got their bodies done but yeah so I'm about to sit down in my chair now the lady's about to come for a massage I think she just texted me yeah she said she's 5 minutes away so this is the end of my video I'll make updates soon but yeah, I'm super tired right now. I can't even really sit in my chair because the lady's going to come. But I need to eat this food. Oh, and I'm eating, drinking pineapple juice with it. Um, my pain is really not that bad. I took some oxycodone at like five, I think three, something like that. But yeah, I'm doing good. So keep y'all updated. Probably make another video. Bye.